Welcome back to the channel. I'm back at it. I'm back in the garage for part three and hopefully the end of the front bumper project. The 2020 F 250. F350 versus saying 2020, 2021, 22, I think it's a new thing still. Anyways, project on the truck narrowed around the OBS. So it should be this part three, it should be the end. We should have it done today. Let me flip the camera to show you what we got going on. Let's finish it up and get it on the truck. Yes, we have the OBS in front on Yes. I guess I got a little excited. And then from balance is done. Um, it's not the greatest body work, let's be honest here, but it's gonna be an inch off the floor if that. So you're not gonna see it. So whatever. But there she is. There she is. Now she'll be on the truck tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Um, I gotta cut the frame once I get the stock bumper off. I gotta cut the frame to put the plastics. Um, I have this side, I just ordered this side. You know, I'll have this side in a few days, three days or something like that. So, can't put that side on yet, but I can put that side. I can put that side on. <clears throat> well, I'm a little out of breath, I'm running around trying to get this done. But it looks like it's about to rain because you know, Miami. But the balance is done, it's painted, fits the bumper. It's amazing. It is amazing. I cannot wait to see this on the truck now with the right color, with the balance and all the light, the fog lights and all the plastics on. I cannot wait. Super excited. So, you guys will see this on the truck in a few seconds. Me, I'll see you tomorrow. What? I'm getting there. One last step. We're getting there. Oh my God, you can see I already cut this side. Here's the piece that took off. It's not the straightest cut in the world by any means necessary. Or whatever. Grounded it down, cleaned it up. Huh. By no means necessary is this the straightest cut in the world. But. It'll work. I might grind down here, this side a little bit more, and then I'm gonna weld up the gap there. Too, as you can see, I have not cut this side, so you can see just about how much I cut off of it. About an inch or so, an inch, give or take, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, next to it. I didn't measure it. I just cut, so it's not bad. I'm gonna grind down here a little bit more. I'm gonna weld it up and then once it's welded and I paint it with some black, I'll turn the camera back on and put the one bro. Alright guys, both of them are cut, both sides are cut, welded, um, painted with a little black, a little flat black just to cover it up. You can also see I got the plugs, you know, a little bit of the harness ran for the fog lights, runs up through the apron, mess of wires for all my fans and shit, I haven't cleaned all that up yet. But I got the relay mounted right here, there's all the wiring I don't want to do that but I'm gonna put the bumper on now just wanted to get that in place that horn is down there because that's the bumper in the way be the bumper on is a nightmare so at least that bottom half of it is done so I'll put the bumper on real quick and then I'll finish wiring it up I don't have my button yet I have the actual switch I'm gonna use for the firelight so I'm just gonna use whatever switch it has now and just leave it hanging under the dash so turn them on and off until I figure out what button I'm gonna end up putting in to match the rest of them, like my little horn button and the and the button I have for the underglow light. So, one second, put the bumper on. Alright, uh, guys, I've got a little update. I went to put the bumper on. Now the fog lights are hitting here. I never test fitted it with the fog lights. I didn't have it when I first got the bumper. The first marked it up, so I didn't think about that. So it hits here. All of this region here hits. So I went ahead and did the passenger side. Yeah, I knocked a little bit of it out. So, sorry the compressor's running, but I'm gonna do the other side and put the bumper on, put the, do the driver's side, put the bumper back on, see if it clears now that the fog light hits. The fog light hits all of this right here. So I'm just notching it all the way around, get this whole corner out of it, and I don't have to deal with that. I'd rather have plenty of clearance than not enough. 
So, let's see what happens. All right, guys, ready? Ready? Bam. There she is. I'm missing one plastic. Plastic on this side. But I got this one on. Clears the frame perfectly, so. I had to modify, oh, I saw you in the video. I had to cut the whole support of the frame to get the fog light to fit up in there. But it's on. It's on. It's on. Yeah, it looks weird without that plastic. Whatever. It works for now. I get it in a couple of days. Look at that fitment. Fitment. So, not bad. I just gotta wire up the fog lights. They're already plugged in to the fog themselves, ran them into the engine bay. So I gotta run it inside for the button and then hook it up to positive and negative and power the key on, so. And yes, the balance is on as well. You just barely see it. So that's why I didn't really care about it coming out perfect. But it's on. It's on. Wow. I'm excited about this one. This will come out really good. All right, guys, I finally got the plastic. Honestly, it has been on for a few days. I've been driving the truck. I forgot to do this video, but whatever. It's been a few days. I've got the bumper on, but... Now the bumper is complete. Let's get back a little more. Let's look at that. Yes. Yes. So it doesn't look bad. It does have a little gap on the top. It does have a little gap in here. I mean, my fingers fit a little bit in an angle. So again, straight down, you don't see it. But the curvature first to strike pretty well. Don't worry about the headlights. They're all messed up, I know. But wow, wow. Successful project. All right, guys. So tell me what you thought. Write in the comments. Now it's finally done. It's on the trucks. Painted. It. It's complete. All plastics. And what do you guys think? You guys, if you guys like it, you don't like it, you prefer the original one. I ruined the truck some more. The usual stuff. And get some feedback. And get some feedback. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it, the videos. I hope it helps you guys. If you guys do the same thing, you can go off of my videos and it helps you guys. It's the goal. It's what the goal of these videos are. Um, so yeah. So next time, the next video will probably be the dually should be back. Um, it's been two months. So the dually should be back for the next video. I will talk about that, discuss that. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, see much but you can see the console and stuff I got some pictures it was they were sending me along along the way so I could make like a slideshow out of it but anyways it's gonna do it for this video like always guys like comment subscribe tell me what you like what you don't like what you want to see more of what you don't want to see of when it's like oh my god please don't film that you know thanks I really appreciate that see the next time we will be back in the garage and don't forget to smash smash that's the subscribe button. Now don't, don't, don't just click it. Smash the subscribe button.